Good afternoon guys, it is Sunday and today we are going to be installing the throttle body spacer on old grandma. And as you can tell by the weather, it's probably not going to happen right away. But we got some severe weather rolling in so stay tuned. All right guys, it is now Monday afternoon. We've got past that storm. We're back to work to a work week. Things are a little bit slow, so we're gonna tackle getting that throttle plate spacer put in to old grandma. So let's get started. So the first thing we do is get this cover off and then we can take all this piping out of here and uh, pull the throttle assembly off. So we're gonna do that up here. It's just a little quarter inch drive square socket that goes in there. And you just crank that out and then we'll come back here and take all this apart. So we got that off pretty easy, just the four bolts came out, unplug this as well as your cruise control and your throttle. And you'll see that the back side of that throttle plate is quite grimy. We're going to take that apart or take this uh, over and we're going to give it a bath, clean that up so that it looks just as good as the front. So what we've got here is we've got our throttle plate spacer and this is from a company called Black Path Racing and uh, it comes with a couple of o-rings one for either side it comes with all the hardware that you need to mount the new spacer to the throttle body as well as all the adjustments to bring your cables for your cruise control and for your throttle forward a little bit so we're going to get this put on there and then we're going to adjust the cables so that everything moves forward. So what we ended up having to do is we use one of these little brackets to move that forward like anticipated. Wouldn't reach without pulling the throttle open. So what I did was I just kind of flipped it on one side with one of these little pegs and put it here because if I use them up here it pushed it over too far and it would kink the cable so I've got it in here we're gonna start it up and see make sure that all the uh, connections are made and that the throttle is not being pulled on too much so let's do that do is use one of those tabs to move that throttle cable forward. Unfortunately it's still not quite enough. It's about a millimeter or more on there that's holding it tight. So what we're gonna have to do is try and bend this forward to make up that difference. This cruise control one down here is just fine. So let's see if we can uh, make up the difference somewhere. So the simple solution was to slot these two holes, slide that forward the extra little bit that we needed and we were able to mount that back in the same place on the other side of the plate to make up a little bit more space. And then this one here was the only one, the uh, cruise control cable that needed the uh, extension on it. So that's it, that's all there is to it. Well, I guess that's not it because we got this, uh, the throttle lever here is binding up on the uh, little cover. So we're gonna have to give this a little bit of a notch to make it fit so that that throttle can uh, open up and close without hitting anything. So. Let's do that. So there, we got this trimmed out a little bit higher here and stepped down so that this thing can come out full throttle and not hit the plastic because obviously we moved everything back this way about an inch. So there you have it. That's how you install a throttle plate spacer on a Crown Vic or a 4.6. I'll give you the numbers and the details here in a minute. So guys, that is how you install a Black Path Racing throttle plate for a 4.6. And the model number that I used, I bought it on eBay, was a 
48948. I will leave the link in the description box below. You guys can check that out if you're willing to do this same little project yourself. A couple basic tools, 5 16 and 10 millimeter, and uh, all the tools come with it. And depending on your application, you may have to do a little bit of trimming, like I, you saw me do on that cover, to get that to fit so that throttle uh, moves the way it's supposed to. So guys, now that we've got that out of the way, on Friday, Junior had a little mishap with his car. Well, I'm gonna let the video do the talking. So I just got a phone call from Junior. He is on the side of the highway currently said his motor made a big bang and so he pulled over there's oil everywhere now the last couple of days we've been fighting a misfiring on that car not sure what it was we uh, thought it was a coil we ordered some coils and uh, he's been taking it easy so anyways he said he was just going down the highway and you know went to get into the throttle a little bit to get up a little bit of a hill and uh, yeah let go I think so I'm not sure if it's just a turbo that may have failed or if there's blew a hole in the side of the block. I don't know. I really feel bad for him. We just gave him this car. And uh, anyways, we're going to help him out. But nevertheless, we're on our way there right now to uh, see what we can come up with. Well, there's some parts of her. Here's the results of uh, coming down the road. Yeah, pieces everywhere here. What? The thing yeah. is, it was only at like 2,500 RPM when it blew up. So yeah, some gift, eh? He was pretty proud of that car, and we were too. Like we were happy to give it to him, and uh, leaving a trail of oil behind. Anyways, kiddo, I'm sorry that this had to happen, and uh, we'll make it right. Don't worry. We'll. Uh, figure out what happened and go from there. It's a sad day for the old Veloster boys. What do you think, kiddo? I'm a little upset. And rightfully so. Uh, I'm sorry this had to happen to you. At least I'll get to drive grandma, right? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll figure something out. Don't worry. Yeah. We know people. Yeah. And I want to give a huge shout out to Dale at Dale Matheson Towing. When we need him, uh, we called this particular time because he was literally just around the corner and he came to uh, Junior's need and uh, we got the car towed back here to the shop with the uh, road incident. So thanks Dale for uh, coming to the rescue. The Car Guy and Six Fan show is coming up on Thursday evening. It'll be on Grant Tommy's page, Street Six Fan. And we've got a special guest you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. That starts at seven o'clock Eastern, eight at, uh, Oh my goodness, almost messed it up. Seven o'clock Central, eight o'clock Eastern, nine Atlantic time. His channel is the second link in the description box below. I hope you go over there, check that out and join us on Thursday nights for some automotive talk. And we are carrying our longtime sponsor, Sussex Beard Oil, who sponsors this beard. Check their link out is in the description box below as well. And check out, see what they have to offer. Maybe it's something that you might be interested in. And guys, Junior's car, well, we're gonna be working away at that in time. I do have a motor ordered for it. It should be here probably within three or four days. And uh, then we're gonna have to get to work uh, tearing the old one apart. And we can see the massive destruction that he caused on that motor. So anyways, that will be an upcoming uh, series of videos. If you guys wanna see what the inside of a Hyundai Veloster 1.6 liter turbo engine looks like from the outside, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. So guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.